So I want to talk about my jukebox, my touch jams, PC setup, uh, sort of what I do when I'm putting music into the jukebox, how I sort things and keep things, uh, I guess, tagged properly so they display the way I want. First thing I do is I run everything through a program called MP3 Gain. Um, I do this just to ensure that all my volumes are you know, consistent and that nothing would peak and potentially damage my speakers. So MP3 gain, that's the first thing I do. Then I take everything over to a program called MP3 tag and I do this just to ensure that everything will display um, the way I want it in the jukebox. You can also fix like genres here and whatnot. Um, just organize things a little bit better or I guess in a specific way that would work for you. For example, on a personal level, when I'm putting a soundtrack on or a compilation on, under artist here and album artist, I want it to display as various artists. And what I'll do is I'll go over to the song title and I'll add the artist there. Um, so you still know, you know, who sings what song. But now when you're going through the jukebox and you go to V, for example, uh, you'll pull up all the compilations and soundtracks and you won't see the album art for the soundtrack, let's say populate under A because one artist you know, was A and one artist was D, one artist was E. Uh, I like that. That's a personal preference. Again, not necessarily something that you have to do, but it's what I choose to do. Then I move everything over into a folder, which each artist gets his or her own folder, um, and all of their albums would be found under the respected folder. Um, so again, I don't believe you have to do this, I just more so choose to do this. I had a previous program I used to use before, and that's the way the music was sorted for that program, and I just sort of kept doing things like that. Again, it's just a personal preference. Now when we go on over to the jukebox, um, anything, when you first open the program, it will scan for new music and that will populate and that will go into the recently added section of the jukebox and then I just display it by album and order by date and time. And if you make any changes like tagging something, um, this is where it'll appear. So for example, I just changed the tag on the Havana and the Magente song to go under the category of Latin. So now they've populated under recently added because I've made a change. I like to ensure that all of my thumbnails are at least 500 by 500, um, just so that everything appears sort of clean. When you go under your now playing, uh, it's gonna show you what's playing. It's gonna be the largest thumbnail there. And then it will tell you what's playing next. You can adjust certain things like the fading in and fading out and whatnot. I prefer to just leave everything pretty much stock. One of the things that I did is I enabled one click ad. I'm using the program on a 23 inch all in one PC that's a touchscreen. And I didn't like having to click it twice to add it to my playlist. So I enabled the one click ad. Again, personal preference, but I like that so much more. Once you've selected a bunch of songs, when you go into playlist over here, that's where you'll see everything that you have queued up to play on your jukebox. I apologize if the colors are coming a little bit uh, washed out. When you click on home, that's when you're gonna go to basically your entire library. It's gonna start from all, so anything that might contain a number, uh, obviously going alphabetically A through Z to show your entire music collection. And again, mine is a touch screen here. So I just, you know, scroll down. You can also use your mouse, but whatever works for you. The charts view is going to let you know basically the songs that are played the most on your jukebox. Um, there's different views here and everything. I just typically look at what I've played. I don't really concern myself with anything else. You can obviously delve into it a little deeper if you choose. The search function does exactly that. You're looking for a specific song. You can search it. Uh, if you have it, you select it, you play it. I haven't played much with the genre section, but I'm actually currently in the process of just ensuring that my things are tagged a little bit better these days. Um, and I definitely want to edit this down. There's a lot of stuff here. The support with Touch Jams is amazing. Uh, the program itself is amazing. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I created this custom skin for the program. It really works for what I want to do. Uh, recently, again, I apologize, it might come a little bit washed out. I just sort of cleaned up the skin and changed the logo a little bit. 
Um, but the program is great. The support from Bob is awesome in terms of like reception to features or things you'd like to see. Uh, bug fixes and support. I had a problem where my album art was displaying and the images were all grainy. Um, and, you know, Bob sort of worked tirelessly at it and got that resolved. Um, we made a couple of changes, like we added this here, the VU meter. Again, I apologize, a little bit washed out here, but a little graphic element that we recently added, or he added, and I just helped create the image and implement it, uh, which just makes for, again, a, a, I think a better visual experience. I actually want to contact Bob to see how I edit these uh, genres down. Again, something I haven't played with too much. I haven't really been concerned about it. But there are people that come over and they don't want to go through this extensive album collection, right? They want to just search. I want to hear some Latin music. And my, my again, my stuff wasn't really tagged as such. So now I'm trying to get that taken care of. So I want to go through this and edit this down to certain things just to, again, make for a cleaner user experience. And I'm sure, you know, when I contact Bob about this for help in this, uh, the support will be second to none. Outside of that, again, Touch Jams, an awesome program. I use it with a touchscreen PC. Really like it. Can't say enough good things about it. Currently in the process of getting it set up on uh, my Windows-based tablet, and then I'll just simply point it to the music collection, which is on this PC. That way I can use it outside with my Bluetooth speakers and whatnot. Uh, but again, a great program. Can't say enough good things. Touch Jams. Um, I'll put the link, I guess, in the video here and check it out.